Hello, I'm Hitomi, one of the producers here at Nifty. Today, I'm going to be giving my childhood bedroom a makeover. Since I moved out, my room has become a catch-all storage space for me and my siblings. I think it's time for things to get donated and turn this room back into a bedroom. So my sweet mother put up this wallpaper back in the 90s and it's looking like it wants to come off. Apparently this little doohickey is supposed to help create little tears in the wallpaper to help the solution marinate evenly. Just lightly go over the entire wall. I researched on what the easiest method of taking off old stubborn wallpaper was and I used this two ingredient solution of equal parts boiling water and vinegar. Key point, hot, hot water. I had an electric kettle boiling in the corner of the room while I made my room smell like salt and vinegar chips. Anybody hungry? This is so simple. You just pump and spray and chill and wait. It was like peeling off a really good nose strip. is so satisfying and best of all, I didn't get sick of peeling. I actually kind of liked it. Once all the paper was off, I gave the wall a good scrub down, getting all the little scragglers and wiping off as much glue residue before painting. And here we are, it's prime time. Primer is key for a flawless finish on a wall. The next day, I followed it up with an off-white color called Night Blooming Jasmine. It's the name that got me. It's like how I choose my wine. My favorite wine is called Sofa King Bueno. So good. Knowing this room was gonna look smaller with a bigger bed, I chose a simple wood frame from Ikea. But I do want to give this bed frame a makeover since it's going to be taking up most of the space. I measured the distance and desired height and had the people at the hardware store cut the birch plywood for me. Because this Ikea frame came unfinished, I used some polyurethane sealant to bring out the richness of the wood grain. Sealant also protects it from elements over time, so it was worth taking the step. And at this point, I built this frame like three times for this video, so I got a pretty good workout that day. I could have kept this headboard very simple with just the wood slab, which I think it does look nice, but I wanted some cushion for the late night readings, and let's be real, catching up on some social media. I wanted the option of being able to take off the cushion cover in case it had to be washed. I used this video that Steph made as my guide. Use some fabric that I think would add some pop to the room. Before working at Nifty, I was a marine mammal trainer and the only time I used a sewing machine was to make custom harnesses for my animal friends. Sewing machines may seem daunting, but let me tell ya, it makes your life so much easier when doing bigger projects like this. This cushion is almost there, just used some leftover fabric to make some straps that'll go around the bedpost.
speaking of bed posts, this is why I chose this bed frame. There's so much potential to decorate. I had this pendant light from an old project and this eucalyptus garland that gave it this very nice earthy touch. Okay, it's time to bring it all together. This mustard colored curtain covers this whole wall making it a great accent wall. And this shelf was using leftover wood from my headboard. I wanted this room to have a little bit of a boho vibe. I made this faux antler video with my friend Kate for Earth Day and I'm in love. Okay, are you guys ready? That is a wrap. I'm ready to shut these lights out and take a little nap. Oh, and here is my sweet mom's reaction. I think she approves. Thanks for watching.